So to actually revolve your shape, you choose Effect, 3D, Revolve, as we did earlier, and you make sure that more options are shown. If you're seeing fewer options, press the More Options button. I'm going to press Preview so we can see exactly what's going on, and we'll look at all the, effect, all the different settings here in detail. Now that's pretty much the kind of thing I was looking for. Anything like a spinning top or anything similar to that is going to be easy to get. So when you rotate, take special care as to what your mouse is over. If you mouse over one of the green edges, then you'll be rotating around Y. One of the red edges, rotating around X, and around the outside, rotating around Z. It is also possible to just spin randomly by clicking on a face and dragging it around, though this very quickly gets a bit unwieldy and you probably won't know what you're looking at. When that finishes re-rendering, you'll see, mm, yeah, probably not quite what we want. So as well as resetting the numbers individually, what you can do is just choose a new preset from the top. So off-axis front or one of the isometric options is probably going to be the easiest thing to work with. Now the lighting. Each light is independently controllable. So we've got an intensity setting. We've also got a general ambient light. The intensity of the highlights, that is the specular highlights like this. And if I choose to push one of these up, then that aspect will change. But it will take a little while to re-preview each time. That's only slightly brighter. Let's make it a lot brighter. In this case, I'm going to add an additional light, new light, with the standard new button in this interface. And again, it can take a little while. So what I might do is turn preview off temporarily, move this light source over, turn this light down a little bit to be more of a fill light as opposed to the key light here. I'm going to push up the ambient light. And one thing I'll do is I'm going to change the number of blend steps up a little bit. Because at the moment you can see the light is not entirely smooth in these areas. The gradient is not completely invisible as it should be. By increasing the number of blending steps, it makes this a less obvious transition from light to dark. If I turn preview back on again, we'll now see it render with the two lights in the two different places. There we go, and that's a little bit brighter and probably a little bit flatter since I increased the ambient light. If I'm happy with that, that's great. Just hit OK.